morning students, staff, parents, governors, friends of the school. I just wanted to share with you some of the successes that we've had this year, particularly around fundraising and charity work, and how proud I am of our young people and our staff and the work that they've done in support of others. Perhaps you're wondering why I'm wearing this woolly scarf. Today it's Wear a Woolly Day, and we're working in support of a number of charities, particularly for those who aren't as fortunate as us. You remember back when we all arrived in our movie costumes and raised almost £1,800. I just wanted to comment on how terrifically supportive you were as parents and how our children responded to that in terms of their commitment and their excitement of the day and how they really contributed to, to what was a remarkable amount raised for charity. Perhaps you weren't aware that those events were organised by our sixth form committee who have been a very active group this year. They work with Fair Play, our charity, and with our local councillor, Tracy Reader. They organise football, sixth form versus staff, a cake sale and a charity concert as well as our movie day. And we were so very proud of their organisation, their leadership, and just how the whole school pulled together on that day in support of what is a wonderful charity, Fair Play. You'll be aware that in the summer I wrote to you regarding our raising the bar policy, and I'm really pleased to say that that's working well in school. Our students have turned out very well. They attend regularly, our attendance figures have actually improved quite significantly. Low level disruption continues to be low and we are very pleased with the way our children have responded to our new policy and higher expectations. Staff also have worked very hard to implement a new marking policy and our students have started to benefit from that and we're seeing better progress in lessons and really some outstanding teaching in classrooms. So many thanks to our students and staff for the wonderful efforts this term to ensure that we continue to improve. We continue to develop our rewards programme to recognise good effort, good attitude and good learning. And we've been able to provide opportunities for youngsters to study abroad in Naples and Iceland, in London, regionally and off-site. And we're delighted to be able to extend those opportunities for children in the future. Perhaps you were able to join us earlier this month when we were able to put on three nights of High School Musical, a really wonderful show showing our students talents, music, dance, drama and the skill and determination and contributions of our staff. Three wonderful nights of performance, sold out and the reviews have been outstanding. Following that we also had a wonderful music concert where we invited our partner primary school, Charlie Park. They thoroughly enjoyed the evening and we were delighted that they joined our students in music and song. It was a wonderful evening, once again sold out, and a real community sense of togetherness. We have such wonderful students here, but I think it's important to just mention two, who this term have represented Great Britain and broken British records. Josh Huff travelled to Spain and competed for the GB rifle shooting team and performed brilliantly. And very recently, Imogen Clark, Year 11 swimmer, has competed in Scotland and broken two GB national swimming records. What a remarkable achievement and we're very proud of those two as, along with all of our students who've competed on the sports field, in the drama studio, on the debating stage and wherever they have the opportunity to present themselves they do us proud. As you're aware we're very committed to support our children's achievements and quite recently we had our U11 students back here receiving awards and being recognised for their commitment to the school over the previous five years. And this week we welcome back our last year's Year 13 who currently are out at universities or studying apprenticeships or working for higher education qualifications and we look forward to seeing them and welcome them back for their final visit. Finally on behalf of all the staff and the students and the governors I wish all of you a very festive and happy and safe and enjoyable break. We look forward to seeing our students back in full uniform on the 5th of January. And whatever you're doing, whoever you're with, we wish you peace and happiness.